We are Stephen and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sunny Southern California. Today, Jill and I talk about, do you enjoy the process or the end? This is what Jill just said. What the hell were you thinking when you did this? This what, I don't get it. I didn't and I say said, it like that. Don't worry, I'll carry you. Why do you do that to me? You're like, you like to throw me under the bus. So, and I didn't do that. I just, I really sincerely asked, because I'm sitting here making notes about what I think it is. And I'm like, where were you going with this? And it wasn't, it notes. wasn't a. Let me read your notes, okay? Yeah. A, what is this? Right? Question mark. B, benefits, if any, mm-hmm. question mark. C, us. Yeah, and I'll explain my notes here in a minute. But I would like to know seriously what what will you will you are you going to share it for the meat of the show? There are some people who really enjoy the process of doing stuff, like people. I assume people like do, who do crafts, uh, or like people who um, build models, which I guess is a craft. Or uh, every single time, well, people who play cards till the middle of the night. With each other, I think enjoy the process, not the end. Are they really playing cards, or is that code for something else? <laughs> you decide. Okay. So you always bring it to that point, don't you? Rated, well, I just is it rated G, Joe? This episode, we never know. Well, we have used that term for other things. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I actually mean playing poker. Oh, okay. I think got a bunch it. of guys still in the middle of the night. Or okay, people. thank you. All right, thank you. So you either enjoy the process. You're either I think you're kind of lean toward one or the other. You either enjoy the process of doing something, or you're getting through the process to get to the end. So you can say, this is freaking done and I'd like to do something else. I know which kind you are. Oh, totally. And I know which kind I am. Exactly. And I bet most of the people listening to this don't enjoy the process of doing a mailer. They enjoy the bank deposits at the end. Ding, ding. <laughs> Before we get into it, though, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. Bob asks, how do you send a targeted mailer when there is no sense to the APM scheme? Thanks. Now, did you write this there? Or did you just put? Did you did you reply in I, online? Uh, I edited and improved on, in my opinion, Kevin uh, Farrell's response, who was the moderator for Atlanta Cat Land uh-huh. Investors. You don't have to read it; I can just answer it. Okay. What this what Bob is asking is, if you look at a data set for a county or a zip code, and it's in an Excel spreadsheet, and of course you can take all that data set and sort. You can sort by name, uh, owner's name. You can sort by anything square footage if it's a house, uh, acreage if it's land, or you can sort numerically by the actual APN in rare cases. And then you can make some sense out of it, you know, but in very rare cases, uh, for some reason in the very deep South, it's like this. There's no rhyme or reason at all in any for, for the APNs, like it just randomly got assigned. So in most counties, the vast majority of counties, East, West, North, South, all of it, there's a, uh, an APN scheme. So back in the day when the county was getting subdivided and people were developing it, the assessor would say, you know, this, this subdivision over here starts with 1-00-34, and then it goes to 35, 36. You can make some sense out of it. What Bob's saying is, you know, how do you send a targeted mailer where there's no sense to the APN scheme? So it's very rare, but it happens. Uh, so Joe and I solved it for you. We created tools like Parcel Fact or neighbor, uh, neighbor scoop where you can go in and say, spatially look at the thing and say, I want to buy houses or land in this area and then draw a polygon and download the data. Mm-hmm. That's how you make sense of it. And you can look, you can get a feel for, before you're going into that, you get a feel for not by APN, but like you said, by the map, by the area, the prices, yeah. you'll know like, Maybe like we've talked about before, all That's the right. areas surrounding the lake. The lakefront property is going to be priced differently. Ding, ding. And you're not going to know that based on the APN. You're going to know looking at it and know that the lakefront property is going to be priced differently. I should have prefaced it by that. The reason Bob's asking that is because he wants to separate pricing. Mm-hmm. He wants to look at a certain area of a zip code that's priced in a, uh, if it's land, all the five-acre properties in a, a county, let's say, APN scheme X, are $120 an acre, 
an APN scheme Y are 422 because there's a lake there, like Jill said. That's the reason you would do this. And you're it's welcome. Very, 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 very a good idea. But it's not when you're first starting out because it's complicated as hell. Sorry, I'm being silly over <laughs> no, here. No, it's okay. <laughs> Today's topic do you enjoy the process or the end? This is the meat of the show. I enjoy the end. All right, I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> The process is uh, nine times out of 10 uh, with anything, pain in the butt. I will say this. I think people who enjoy the process probably live a lot longer than people who enjoy the end. I don't know. Well, that's a very good point. I I see it differently because, well, maybe maybe if you can never get to the end, then, then you live an unhealthy and unhappy <laughs> life. But we have a good neighbor that he's all about the process, that's his job. He goes from, from project to project to project. He works for like a, I don't know what, what you call this. Private equity group. Thank you. And they buy companies, <laughs> right? We all know what this is, but me, thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, and they send him in and he's got two years. He's a of, fixer. He's two years to turn around and to do this and this and this. And he gets paid like And he does, he cashes dollars. out, gets a nice lump at the end of the two year, three year, whatever period it is. And then he'll, they'll pick him up and put him over here. And it's a different city, whatever. He obviously enjoys the process. He's not there to buy the company for himself, make it beautiful and retire exactly. and just let it run. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, versus, and, and that's that kind of person. And I, and I know there's a lot out there that like that too. Yeah. They love building the team. They love watching this grow. They love that. We really are, and I think it's partially why we do what we do with land I want to get in, get out. You know, our goal is to own it for hours, if that. Mm -hmm. I'd love to sell it before I buy it. You know, it's about the end and the bank balance because at the end of the day, we want to go, let's go have some fun. That's it. That's it. I'm not here. I We're also not those people that uh, love to walk around saying, I work 50 hours this week. What about you? And you go, I work 60 hours and then have that kind of a contest. We're not those people. I'm Our, our way of our contest is, do you have to work today? Do you have to go in today yeah. at all? What is this what, necessary? What is the minimum you can do? And we can go do this and still have the same results. That's the key too. You want, it's not like um, the end people, you know, you want to still have a profitable and healthy and, and growing business. Just in, in our case, our hopes are that we set up processes and we put the right people in place that they don't need us. Somebody has quoted this to me in a college, college professor, mm -hmm. a finance professor. He said, humans are like electricity. They take the easiest path. And that always stuck with me, obviously. And so I don't know if people who enjoy the process take necessarily take the easiest path. I take the easiest path. I do too. I agree. So that's what it is. You know, and the benefits, I suppose the benefits are could be both. It depends on who you are. So can I ask you a bunch of questions? Sure. We both like to go 180 miles an hour in these race cars that we have. Correct. Do you think that that's getting to the end or do you enjoy the process? The process. Me too. So it's yeah, not I'm not, gonna, I'm right. not driving 180 because I want to get there faster. Right. I'm enjoying that part. That's right. Me too. It's a good point. How about you playing uh, solitaire on the computer like right before you go to bed? These are good questions. So do you I pl I play solitaire and then it helps me to, fall to really, asleep to win? Oh, really? Yeah. You don't do it to win? Nope. I don't. That's a good question. There are a few things that I choose, but like in business, in business, you know what? Maybe it depends. Now we're opening this up. So Jill and I <laughs> used to substitute teach for a college course. Uh, it was an entrepreneur course. And since we moved to California, we just, we, you know, just don't do it anymore. Because it's uh, not in California. When we, you know, and I, I thought sometimes I look on, online to see if we can get involved in that somehow again out here. Because I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. I got a lot out of out of teaching kids. And it was the last class in a master, in an MBA called Being an Entrepreneur. And so we would go in there and I would start the class off like this. All the stuff that you've learned in all of your school is wrong. And we're gonna sit here for 45 minutes or an hour and tell you exactly what it's like to own a business and the good stuff, the bad stuff, and what to expect. And everybody just stopped what they were doing, you know, and really listened to us and we captivated them. I really enjoyed that process. I really think we helped a lot of people I think we probably did it a handful of 25 times probably. 
And I still think about it. I'm like, you know, we really are helping these kids. It was, it was during the very early days of Land Academy. And I'd like to think that we're doing that for uh, at least a handful of people out there. Maybe not so much through the show, but the live events or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. that I don't know. That you're, great per you're... personal satisfaction when we do a live event. You I, just I, went from a handful to 25 and you went from a handful to 500. No, in a good way. I'm just having fun. A handful is 25. Well, a handful. We have a handful of we have a handful of 500 members. Oh, active well, members. I mean, and 100,000 people actually listening right. to the show. So, yeah. All right. That I don't know what the point is to that. I was just having fun with you. It's oh Friday. Gosh. So, it's Friday. did you enjoy the process teaching in th that class, or did you try to just get to the end? Both. Help them get to the end and understand. Oh, the help them get to the end, but yeah. not you. Yeah, and I was hoping to just get through it. I really, mean, I enjoyed teaching that class. I don't know why. I, I think know. you know why because we got through those kids. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's back up. Land Academy is a process. I know that's what I was kind of getting at before you said handful and and uh, okay got toward that. So because it really is. Well, it'll never end. The right. show's a process, and it'll never end. So I guess I'm meeting my words. It depends on what it is. Yeah, it in, in my on what day to it is. in my day to day business, I want to get to the end. But there's so parts of it that I love. These Friday so they, shows that's, are all that's what you love. These fr exactly. These Friday shows aren't necessarily about real estate. They're about the philosophical aspects of why we get up in the morning and do stuff. Uh, for everybody, most of the people watching or listening to this, and for us for sure, our day, our days and weeks and months and years are packed for doing real estate deals. You know, and I just think it would be impossible to enjoy that process. <laughs> I think you, you want to get to the end. But my point is, when we do stuff mm -hmm. we really love, that maybe our is ends up being a hobby and not. We, we enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. You're leaving me with stuff to think about today. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. <Good>. Steven. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's good. So what is then it for you? We, then why are we doing these real estate deals if we don't really enjoy the process? That's really what I'm coming, you know, because we oh. want to live on the ocean. Because the end what opens if? up. Wait, because the end of those frees me up to do the process for the parts that I love. Exactly. Wow. That's a book. Yep. It's Or a series of books. And uh, I, one that I won't write. <laughs> <laughs> I can vouch for that. Thank you. Happy you could join us today. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you can find us right here on the Land Academy Show. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are next door at the House Academy Show. Next week, join us on the Land Academy Show for the episode called Negotiation starts with common ground you are not alone in your real estate ambition it's funny how often we say we don't negotiate don't negotiate but we use the word it's you good know, I, I heard somebody uh on a talk show recently talk about everything starts with the common ground you know so and they were talking about politics and so when, when you're because there's this very heated political environment right now more more so than i think than i can remember ever and he said, when things are, when people are at odds, and let's say you're a real estate deal, you have to start by saying something like, look, I know we're completely at odds on this, but we are, but we both love our children, right? And we both want our kids to do well, and we have to raise them somewhere. So yeah, you're on the right, I'm on the left, or whatever it ends up being, but we're all, we're doing this for our kids. Let's start there. Or you do want to sell your house. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. We're just not at the right price yet. So Let's start with that. That was perfect. Thank you. The Land Academy show remains commercial free for you, our loyal listener. So wherever you're watching, wherever you are listening, please subscribe and rate us there. We're, We're Stephen Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property.